another vlog yes another episode of itelo's diary you guys went for itelo's diary so we are sticking with that from now on it's a monday and if i'm sincere with you most mondays mm, i know it's not only me that doesn't like mondays right but come to think of it i can't trust how i feel you know as much as i like my job most times i don't want the weekend to end you know just playing around with family, being relaxed, no pressure and all that. It is really, really sweet, but we have to get back to work. And that brings me to the need for you to create the right atmosphere to work in. If you leave yourself, your natural state will say rest, 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 and just take a break every now and then, but you can't trust how you feel. Your feelings may end up leading you to poverty because naturally the body likes to rest, the body likes to relax, the body that just does not like any form of pressure but you know, that's not how the world works so you have to create the atmosphere by yourself for yourself so when my body is telling me on monday that ah, this is the day to be sad this is the day to feel bad because you're going back to work i look around and say no this is exciting i'm going to do an exciting job i'm going to do something amazing this week i'm going to create beautiful pieces i'm going to meet new people and i just choose to focus on that positive aspect mm -mm. it's not every time i get it right sometimes I just end up still feeling somehow on Mondays but once I manage to succeed Mondays I feel like I can do anything for the rest of the week yes so one thing that helps me is when I have my week planned out so I usually write everything I plan to do but be careful when you do that because you still don't want to put pressure on yourself if some things come as distraction sometimes you didn't really plan it and a client just comes in i need this urgently and you have to abandon some things and work for it but basically it's there to guide you don't let it control you so for instance today i have teach slave variation that and that manipulation that's what i'm teaching my students today and i also try to delegate to let some people do some things for me okay i have a worker here that also teaches sometimes but this week um one major thing I'm doing this week is to create a sample for a client that wants to produce ready to wear. By the way, if you want to go into the ready to wear business, maybe you don't sew, you don't have any knowledge, and you just want to start creating pieces and selling as a ready to wear designer, okay? We can produce for you at Chem Africa. That's one of the side gigs we do for brands, okay? So this one is a new brand, and I had to create. A size chart for her I'm also communicating with her as I'm doing all of this one of the things I'll be doing this morning is to delegate uh, I have two people here on my list so they are creating patterns for some of these pieces two of the patterns I say you handle this you handle this I'll see the pattern I'll look through it before we start transferring to fabric so at the end of the day it's going to still be like I made this myself but don't kill yourself you cannot do everything by yourself right so I have, I'm also expecting somebody joining me. Guys, I'm hiring a personal assistant and I'm so excited for the new phase. That means I'll be more productive, right? Because she'll be doing all the editing, creating content and all that. So I'm hoping it goes well, but I still have to put her through some trainings. So I have to teach her how I do things. It may take us a week thereabouts to do all the teaching and then she can get to work fully so another thing on my agenda here is to teach to teach her video editing and also i have a delivery to pick up at abc transport i ordered for an applique for one the corset outfit i showed you i think i showed this outfit in my previous vlog so it has arrived benin city so i need to go and pick it up that's another item so that's for monday and another tip is don't put too much into your day if you put so much into your day unrealistic agenda for the day and you're unable to pull through you will get start getting disappointed in yourself you won't be happy with yourself and you may end up 
not being productive because you're not happy with yourself so just put like little bits into your day that you know you can handle easily and if at all it doesn't work out still don't kill yourself over it like <laughs> don't please so it's just like a guide really don't let it start controlling you and you're just every time feeling bad that you're not meeting up that used to happen to me but now i'm learning to not mm, kill okay myself over some things so uh, on tuesday i have another teaching color theory then i have sewing of the outfits that's the samples i mentioned earlier on edit video that's my pa we do that then film embellishment for tutorial, so on and so forth so when i have all of this i do this during the weekend so when i have all of this already i arrange um it kind of gives me a kind of clarity that puts my mind at ease like i'm not trying to remember what is next there's just a whole lot of pressure that that takes off my shoulders once i pin all my plans for the week down so at the end of the week to also plan down my weekend all the things i need to do at home cleaning kids homework and all that i put that into the weekend and i start ticking that one i usually do it on my phone i start ticking as i do so all of this helps me organize my life uh let's start the day so yeah my students are drafting out their sleep pattern i just quickly took out time to put out a post on social media guys this job has so many wings and you just need to know how to create time in between time for instance i just gave my students an assignment to draft patterns for our class and I came on here to quickly put out a post. There are so many things to do. So um, we have the scholarship opportunity we have been announcing for, I think two weeks now, and we have quite a handful of applications. The application closed yesterday. So I'm just announcing that it is closed, okay? And we'll send out messages to all those that applied. I also put it out on YouTube as well. So once I put out the post on Instagram, I'll go ahead, copy to Facebook, do the same thing on YouTube, community session, put it on WhatsApp. Hopefully, my assistant will take over this part of the job, guys. This job is not fun and glamour or drunk through. Forget all the model posting you see. You just think people are just enjoying their life and posting for pictures. The job is much. Somebody has got to do it. Our light was just seized, but I'll be going now to pick up the um, delivery I told you guys about. It's an applique, or is it applique? Which one is the correct pronunciation? If you know it, please drop it in the comment section. Um, it's an applique or an applique, an applique. I ordered from applique by Sav. She's an Instagram vendor. I've bought some things from her before. So I'm going to the delivery company now to go and pick it up. We are here. So guys, this is the lace trimming I got. Um, let me show you guys the details. So it's really, really pretty, but unfortunately, it's not the best for this sequence. That's the trouble with buying things online. Um, but I'm still going to use it anyway. This cost me a yard 5,500 Naira and delivery from Portacos here was 2,000 Naira. That's 7,500 Naira. I'm using it for this same outfit, the one we are recording for our corset class. I'm paying, guys. What do you think? But then I said champagne gold. <sighs> I don't know how I feel about this really, but uh, 
I will have to use it. What I'm going to do is to trim all the lace in between out so that we just have this beaded sequence part of it. I think that will help conceal the difference in color way more. And on the outfit, I'm just placing it on the cup and I'll allow it drip downward basically. So guys, here is it once again. It's 5,500 Naira per yard. That's how much in dollar. I beg you guys to do the conversion. 5,500 Naira per yard. And I bought it from Applique by Sav. It's really pretty. So that's it. Tomorrow I'll be filming the video on embellishments and all of that for those in that class. So if you're interested in learning how to make corset outfit this is not even the only outfit you're making in that class so if you're interested i will drop a link to that course in the description box just click on it once you make payments you are into the group and you get your courses our training usually holds on telegram at least for now before we have a website so if you're interested in any of the classes you can just just take it there's nothing as good as upgrading your knowledge constantly so don't be stuck on what you know before keep developing yourself keep taking courses and camera freak online courses are the best trust me in my previous video somebody actually suggested i post a video for this corset class for free on youtube and i'm like ah i think i do so much for free already so sometimes when i have a paid class you guys should just patronize me join our courses you see what youtube is paying me necessarily for now i'm just making an investment i'm putting up content hoping that in future it will be worth the while because what i use for youtube now from data to power supply that's the days i need to use generator to editing to everything is way more than what youtube pays me right now i'm not yet making a profit on this channel that's why the fact that I have over 100 videos on this channel. I won't call what I'm making right now profit, no. I'm still kind of investing. I'm investing myself. I'm investing knowledge. Investing everything. So, hoping that one day to pay off. So, that's more reason why you should subscribe to this channel. In case you haven't. And give my video a thumbs up. Share my content. That way I'll be encouraged to do more. But, know this class is going to be a paid class. Guys, you guys need to patronize my classes. And also, if you're in Benin City, we have physical classes going on. Later this year, we'll be starting a bridal class. I'm talking of 2022, depending on where you're watching this video. We'll be starting a bridal class for those who want to learn wedding dresses or you just want to upgrade your knowledge generally. So we'll have a class for that. So if you're also in Benin City, maybe you learn freehand and you want to upgrade yourself, you want to skill up and learn pattern drafting, I'm your girl, guys. We are in Ubawa, currently in Ubawa, Benin City. Just give me a call. I'll drop my contact or WhatsApp link or group link. Wherever you send the message to, here, whatever, wherever, wherever, wherever. You are going to meet me there. Okay, I'm everywhere, <laughs> literally. The next day. Hey guys, it's another day. I'm sure you can tell because I look different, right? But today, mm, my energy level is so low. I feel tired, exhausted, both mentally and physically. I'm not just in the mood. I don't know. I really can't point to a particular reason why I feel this way, but mm, it may be a slow day. I may not be able to do much, but I will definitely do little bits. And sometimes when I start doing those little bits, I start getting the ginger <laughs> I was missing. So we won't trust our feelings today. We are just still going to work, right? Let's do this. I have an agenda for today already which includes filming a video that's concluding this particular tutorial the embellishment aspect so what I showed you guys yesterday so I'm going to use my soldering iron coupled with using a scissors in some areas to trim out just the lace patches and so that I can have the beaded parts I'll trim also in between as much as I can anyway but I'll try not to um 
now make it difficult for me to fix because if I trim too much of the laces in between, helping it to hold itself together may now involve so much sewing. Well, let's see what we can do with this. So how are you today? I hope you're having a good time wherever you are, whatever you're watching this. If you haven't given this video a thumbs up, please do that at this point. One of those days. <laughs> Faint. I just finished filming for this outfit guys tell me how does this look if you like me to teach you this please join our corset class it's a new class I'll put up the enrollment details in the description box so if you, in case you want to join us just click on it make payments and you're in class you know in no time uh, and please, please please don't let me drop the tutorial here no no this is a paid course so yeah I'm feeling really happy that I've achieved this because like I told you guys earlier on, I was really not in the mood. Thankfully, I was able to, you know, do this. That's the thing. Once you are able to overcome your fears, your worries, and you just walk all the same, do it anyways, you end up feeling happy and fulfilled and, you know, just confident in yourself that, yes, I am the boss. <laughs> So I have one or two things to clear off with my students. They've been knocking on my door. They didn't want to interrupt me, so they've been waiting for me to come attend to them. I'll do that, and I haven't actually sewn these patches. I just pinned them, but I'm true feminine. I may have to come and sit down and sew all the patches and this stuff, one after the other. It may take time, or if I can get somebody else to do it for me, I'll just be glad. The next day. How are you today? Hey, uh, our engineer. How do you feel today? Oh, I like your outfit. Are you ready for school? Yes. You want to be an engineer when you grow up? And a doctor. Oh, you want to be an engineer and a doctor? Yes. Brownie, road safety officer. How are you? I'm heading to my kids' school. They have their career day today, and already I'm um, 55 minutes late. But thankfully, it's not far from here, so I should be there in the next 10 minutes. Hopefully, they've not finished the entire program. I don't just want it to be that I didn't show up at all, so I'll, I have some things to take care of. But I'll just go there and, you know, do whatever they are doing with them and run back here. And I think I'll have to pick the kids and bring them here from that program. So let's hope I can still get to do something. So I told you guys about the samples I'm creating for a new ready-to-wear line. Hmm. I don't know. It's remaining one of it. And I don't know. My time has just been... Uh, let's just say I've not given it my full attention this week. It has not gotten my fullest attention as much as it ought to. So it's still remaining one of the pieces which I think I'll take home to go and work on. I'll take my small machine along and go and work on it if I can't cut it today because the lady is coming to take a look tomorrow. So and I don't want to disappoint her. It's not in my character. So yeah, we are heading out now. So Brian, how was it? It was fun. Was it fun? Yes. 
So who are you? You are an engineer. Brian is a road safety officer today. Hello, officer. Where's your cap now? Why did you remove your cap? Wow. <laughs> it's too I do. <laughs> hey guys, I'm back at work now. There's no light, so hence the generator sound you can hear. That's my neighbor. One of the reasons why I can't film using generator, or I don't like filming using generator. I want to quickly do some work. The work I told you guys about before we go home. Uh, I have about one hour and half there about to do something. <laughs> I'm trying to steal time and to make good use of every minute. Oh, oh, my tripod stand is not even here. So I'll get to work right about now. The next day. Hi guys. I'm at work early today to round up the work. The one I was doing yesterday, I couldn't quite do much at home because um, I don't have a weaving machine at home and I needed to be weaving as I'm sewing. So I came early to finish it up. Ooh. It has been such a week. I don't know. You know, earlier on in this video, I told you that I hired um, an assistant so I don't get overwhelmed with work. But I think I'm beginning to learn now that hiring somebody else does not, does not necessarily mean you have less to do because you still have to keep up that pace of work so that you can pay the person, right? So you need to be more productive. So hiring a person will help you to be more productive as a business, okay? It's not really, it does not really mean you won't do much or you will have time to rest. It just means that your business will produce more. Otherwise, if you follow that other route, you are resting because you have somebody else. By the time it's, you need to pay that person, you won't be able to keep up with salary and all of that. So yeah, so this week has been very busy for me. Thankfully, today is Friday. Yeah, on Fridays. I must relax a little bit, watch a movie or something, so that I don't just get burnt out, you understand? So it's been a busy week and, and ideas are flowing for the next week. Guys, I'm doing a light makeup because I'm expecting a client. I just started doing that recently. So I was listening to a um, series of short videos that Matwin does. I don't know if you know Matwin, but she's a fashion teacher. She was in Nigeria, I'm not sure again, but she has a fashion school in Lagos. So she was doing this series of videos where people ask her questions about running fashion business and all of that, and she responds in a short video, like one minute, I think, so there's this particular one where the lady was asking how can I get high paying clients for my business and she mentioned that somebody once told her that the day she started doing full face makeup was the day people stopped pricing her down, you understand? That was the day she started getting people to pay her her happy price and I was like whoa 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 <laughs> because me sometimes they went my face is problematic. I have an acne prone skin and a lot of time I don't even want to use my, I don't want to use makeup and I come to work with my acne prone skin that way and um, most days, just once in a while, I will put on my makeup. But since that day, I started being deliberate about the outlook, okay? So the way you present yourself, just the same way you present your environment the way you present yourself to a new client, they're going to judge you by it. It's going to affect the price they are willing to pay for you. Because whether you like it or not, people are putting you in a class once they meet you. The same way when people come into your workspace, 
they are, they are giving you a class already, and uh, it will also affect the way they negotiate. It will affect the way they negotiate with you. So, for instance, today, if I was just going to work and I know I'm not meeting anybody, <laughs> and I'm sure because sometimes accidents do happen, right? So, if I'm very sure I'm not meeting anybody, I may still do away with makeup. But I think I, I now make up more often since I was that video. I now do my makeup more often because. Girl, whether you like it or not, beauty sells. Beauty sells. We all like beautiful people, eh? So bring out the best version of yourself. You are beautiful already, we know, but if you don't package yourself that way, you are hiding your beauty. So enhance it if you can. I'm done with that work and I'm excited that uh, the pressure is finally off, guys. I don't like working under pressure. Hmm. When I was uh, applying for jobs before I started my business, ah, sorry, this noise outside. I didn't even realize on time. When I started applying for job, you know, on your CV you write ability to work under pressure. Man, that thing has come. I don't want to work under pressure. If I can, I'd rather, you know, schedule my time in a way that is convenient for me, not in a way that will make me feel stressed. Hypertension is real, guys. You have some work and then you push it till it becomes a pressure work and you're doing it, your chest is doing like this, <laughs> your heart is beating fast, hypertension is real. You need to take more care of yourself. The client I was expecting couldn't make it, so instead I'll be sending a rider to deliver this. Um, well, even though there are samples for ready to wear pieces, uh, I I was hoping she would be here so that we'll make corrections. She would tell me her preferences for the other pieces. But unfortunately, she's not feeling fine. So I'll be sending it to her. I don't just want anybody to call me. Ah, why didn't you put bands? You understand? Okay, you want band? She was here for inspection now. It will have made the job way easier for me subsequently. But guys, I had one client and when I was doing bespoke pieces that she will not come for fitting. I mean, she would give me clothes very late and I would end up having to hurry up to do her work so that she can use it on that day. The worst part is she won't come to my office. She won't come here to do her fitting so that probably she'll use it the next day or something like that. No, she will wait till that day, that day, gung, 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 she will come to my house because I will take the piece home. Our houses were not that far away from each other then. So, so she will pick up her outfit without any fitting at all. She won't come for fitting. And she will give me styles that she will see in magazines and all that where people, those that are wearing it, they did fitting like five times, if you understand. Some couture dresses, you have to come for fitting before we put uh, lace trimming or anything like that. So she'll come that day in the morning, collect the outfit, go and wear it and take it to the location. Then she may not be calling me later in the day and she was not happy the band did not do this you know you should have come for fitting tailors are not magicians fashion designers are not magicians a woman's body is just too you know unique that many times even though you should not have major corrections but sometimes there will be just tiny issues that will easily be fixed though but some people will never come for fitting you won't see them for fitting i think many people need education in this regard like let your clients know that, madam, you have to come for fitting. Don't let them now be calling you on phone. That thing is so annoying when <laughs> your client is worrying you on phone. Hey, this one, the length is too long, something that could have easily been reduced. You get what I mean? Yeah. If you have experienced that kind of client, let me know in the comment section. I know some of you must have people in your circle, your regular clients or your one-time clients that behaves this way. They don't want to come for fitting. They don't have time for fitting. They just expect magic all the time yeah sometimes you get it right but sometimes man it's not just realistic that's expecting too much especially if you are making huge pieces okay for simple wear is no problem but you see where you are making custom made outfits you know special occasion dresses <laughs> you don't expect not to come for fitting you are just setting yourself up imagine ordering for a wedding dress and you don't come for fitting <laughs> you know what will happen now that kind of thing so yeah although this one is not a fitting issue because like i said they are ready to wear pieces i just wanted her to observe in my presence so that i can make 
necessary correction for the main pieces guys so i think i'll end this vlog here <laughs> i don't know if this week has been boring or not i just tried my best to carry you guys along how are you doing how has your week been i hope you have a relaxing weekend i make sure that my weekend even though i plan it i still have plans just like i have weekdays plans i have weekend plans i have but fridays Friday evenings, I make sure I take a break, watch a movie, just cross my leg, chill, and be a baby girl for once. So thank you for watching these vlogs, guys. I hope you have subscribed to this channel. In case you haven't, this is a good time to do that. And give this video a thumbs up. See you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. You're the real MVP, guys. Love you.